Hey guys, what's up? This is Shubhadeep from eGadgets for you and in this video I have the very new Samsung Galaxy A5 and the Samsung Galaxy A7 with me. Now this is an interesting video as because the new models from Samsung, the Galaxy A5 and the Galaxy A7 2017 variations are recently launched in India and are available for pre-booking. Now I got a retail unit of both the devices. So it's high time to make a full video regarding the comparison, difference, performance and the specifications of these devices. So let's dig deep. As always, let's start with a physical overview of the A5 and the A7. Mind you, the A5 is on the left hand side of the screen and the A7 is on the right hand side of the screen. Now uh, both are actually available at a price of 29,000 INR and 34,500 INR respectively. So let's dig deep into the physical overview. On the top of both the devices you get the SIM trays, the noise cancellation speakers, the antennas on either end. Towards the left hand side of the screen you will find the volume rockers and the secondary SIM tray also present over here. Towards the right end of the screen you get the speaker grills which is an interesting addition that you get the speaker grills on the right hand side and also the screen lock and the power on and off button over here. Towards the bottom, towards the bottom you find the 3.5 mm jack input point, the microphone and the type C charger point over here as well. Towards the front for both the devices you get a 16 megapixel shooters, the sensors, the earpiece, Samsung branding. Now for the Galaxy A5 2017 model you get a 5.2 inch of screen size whereas for the Samsung Galaxy A7 2017 model you get a 5.7 inch of screen size and both have a home button and the back button on the multitasking button which are backlit of course and the home button also acts as a fingerprint scanners. Now towards the back for both the devices you get a 16 megapixel shooter with LED flash Samsung branding. Now this particular device is made out of absolute metal and it's actually premium aluminium metal that has been used in this particular device and it has a Corning Gorilla Glass 4 protection at the top as well as at the back as a result of which the devices feel slippery and obviously a finger magnet as you can see over here. Now then again you need to use a back cover in order to avoid the slippiness or the slip pull nature of the A5 and the A7 as well. The Samsung Galaxy A5 2017 model is actually weighs around 169 grams whereas the Galaxy A7 2017 model it weighs 186 grams. Now both are IP68 certified so that means both are water and dust resistant for 30 minutes so that is a good addition in this particular device as well. Now as you can see very clearly over here both the devices uses two SIM trays. Now this is for the single SIM the first SIM actually is for a single SIM tray that is being used in both the devices and for the secondary SIM also they are actually giving you a secondary SIM slot and a micro SD card. Now mind you both the devices support micro SD card up to 256 GB so there is a lot of storage available over here as well. And both the devices as you can see have dedicated slots so that is actually a good inclusion. As always with any Samsung devices you get the touch with UI uh, with each of them so as a result of which the user experience is pretty much same like other Samsung devices as well. The app drawers is present over here and you see the Samsung Pay is included over here as because the Samsung Pay has been introduced in India from today onwards. So it's a great inclusion in this device that you can find also. Apart from that you get the Samsung trays which boasts of some of the Samsung apps pre-installed over here and you get the Google tray which is absolutely useful. Similarly the useful thing is the Microsoft app drawer also. So these are pretty basic stuffs, useful stuffs that are loaded in this particular device. Additionally you get the USB backup and the S secure mode. The USB backup is actually present in both the devices and obviously it works to a great deal as well. Apart from that, if we go to the swipe down menu, you will find that the notifications panel are exactly similar for both the devices and you get the toggle menus to play around with also over here. You get the NFC, the ultra data saving mode and the S spike mode and the S power planning mode. Additional features but very good features that has been included in the both the devices of A5 and A7 2017 model. Now moving ahead to settings, this is actually a very easy interface and very good interface and obviously a lot of customization options are present for both the devices. Let's go to about device in both the devices and check the software info. You will find that both the Samsung Galaxy A5 2017 model and the Galaxy A7 2017 model runs on Android 6.0.1 which is Marshmallow. 
So it's not giving you the nougat, but hopefully it will get the nougat update as well pretty soon. Now, next up under the settings, you get something that says the device maintenance, which actually on pressing will maintain uh, or so as to see which will actually render the performance of your entire device and it will ask you to optimize or fix the issues likewise. Now you will see the storage over here. Now both has a 32 gigs of internal memory and out of which 9.2 GB are used up by the OS and other stuff with of apps and all. So that way you get good space and additionally you get a micro SD card also and USB OTG support is included in both the devices. So that is some wonderful inclusions. In the RAM department, both comes with a 3 gigs of RAM variant and you get to clean and optimize your RAM in this particular management also. So those are very good stuffs which actually takes care of the fact that your device will never lag and it will perform to a great deal even on extensive usages as well. Now from a display perspective, the difference lies is the Samsung Galaxy A5 2017 model has a 5.2 inch of screen size whereas Samsung Galaxy A7 2017 model has a 5.7 inch of screen size. Apart from that, each and everything are similar. Both have a Super AMOLED display and both are containing a Gorilla Glass 4 protection at the top. Both supports Full HD display, so it has a resolution of 1080 into 1920 pixels for both the devices. Another difference is that the Samsung Galaxy A5 2017 has a pixel driven density of 424 ppi whereas the Samsung Galaxy A7 2017 has a pixel density of 386 ppi. So that is some wonderful things and obviously as you can see also the viewing angles display the touch sensations each and everything are superb in both the devices. No complaints whatsoever from a display perspective. Next up we have the most talked about feature are the specs. Both the Samsung Galaxy A5 and the Samsung Galaxy A7 2017 model both has a Exynos 7880 Octa chipset. This chipset is actually being developed by Samsung and is used in both these devices. It's something new with the 7880 Octa chipset that they are, they are using. So it remains to be seen with the long run how the devices holds up. As of now, the performance is equally great and I must say it's excellent in both the devices. Both the devices runs on an octa-core processor that is clocked at 1.9 GHz. It has a GPU of Mali T830MP3. So that way the performance in both the devices is equally great and it's outstanding of course. And as already mentioned, both has 3 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of internal memory as well. So in the specs department, both the Samsung Galaxy A5 and the Galaxy A7 2017 is absolutely similar. Another noteworthy feature is obviously the battery and the difference lies in the Samsung Galaxy A5 27, it has a 3000 milliampere of battery, whereas the Samsung Galaxy A7 has a 3600 milliampere of battery. Both has a talk time of 16 hours and 23 hours respectively. And on heavy usage with the 3G, 4Gs and all, uh, the Galaxy S7 tends to last for close to one and a half working days, whereas it's close to one working day or so as to say it will get you over for a full one working day with the Galaxy A5. The Super AMOLED display does add up to the battery capacity and battery factor as well. Both the Samsung Galaxy A5 and the Galaxy A7 2017 has the most important sensors like the accelerometer, gyroscope, compass, barometer, haptic feedback, voice dialing, voice commands, voice recordings. So both are loaded with good features and each and everything is present in both the devices. So from a sensors point of view, there is no compromise in these devices. Now next up is the most important aspect for both the devices that is a camera. Both the Samsung Galaxy A5 and the Galaxy A7 2017 has a 16 megapixel shooter at the back with a focal aperture of 8 by 1.9. Both has autofocus and CMOS image sensors and both has a 16 megapixel shooter at the front also and supports full HD recording at 30 frames per second for both the cameras. So orientation wise also everything is quite similar as you can see that the camera settings, the toggle switch and each and everything just works perfect and to a great deal and actually it's absolutely similar for both the devices. The beauty force, the skin tone, each and everything, the modes and all are exactly similar in both A5 and A7. 
Now let me guide you through some of the wonderful pictures that I have taken using the camera of both the devices. Let me tell you I am not doing any difference in the camera because the quality uh, of picture that both these handsets takes are exactly similar. So there is no difference in the camera but overall let us take a look at the pictures. Over this in this picture as you can see that I have used touch to focus and the focal region came out so perfect and so great. In artificial lighting conditions night time the Flash never fails, touch to focus never fails, the quality of picture is super, superb. Now with the, now the camera of both A5 and A7 is so intelligent enough that it will actually depict you the perfect blend of the brightness, the contrast, saturations and give you a wonderful output with the picture. In complete dark time with the use of flash, this picture came out so bright. The flash is powerful enough in both the devices. Again, with the use of pro mode, in artificial lighting and in good scenarios, it does gives you a wonderful output with the picture as is evident in this particular object as well. In night conditions, with the use of flash, the picture never disappoints. Again, with good source of light, obviously the brightness, saturation and the color levels are just perfect as you can see in this particular picture as well. Now this is something interesting, it was actually pitch dark and I have used zoom over here and have taken this particular picture, yet it came out so wonderful, it's truly amazing. Again with trick photography also the objects came out brighter and sharper and there is no complaint whatsoever by the camera. Now let's stick to the front camera or switch to the front camera as well, in this particular shot was taken in artificial lighting conditions and the use of skin illuminator and obviously it came out perfect. Now this particular picture is actually taken in complete darkness and the screen illuminator actually worked out to a great deal in taking the perfect selfie over here. In daylight conditions the camera can never fail so the front camera took a wonderful selfie as you can see over here. Again this particular picture was taken in nighttime conditions with artificial lighting and as you can see also the quality is good enough. Uh, similar scenarios for this particular picture also in artificial lighting and the use of the screen illuminator, the selfie came out great. So overall the experience with camera is absolutely amazing in both the devices. So guys, now comes the most important question, whether to go for the Samsung Galaxy A5 or the Samsung Galaxy A7. Now it's absolutely actually a tricky situation. Now my verdict is that the price of Samsung Galaxy A5 is 29,000 INR whereas the Samsung Galaxy A7 is 34,500 INR. Both has similar features in all the important scenarios like the specifications of a chipset, processor, RAM, internal storage, micro SD card, camera, the sensors, each and everything are absolutely similar in both the devices. In fact both has a super AMOLED display as well and the Corning Gorilla Glass for protection on the top at the back as well. The quality is also great and superb for both the devices. So that is a tricky situation. If you want my verdict or my opinion, I'll actually go for the Samsung Galaxy A5 because I'm getting all the premium features and all the beautiful features from Samsung in this device and I have to pay a tad less than that of the Galaxy A7. Again, both the devices are actually heavily priced. Because of the Samsung branding, the pricing is obviously heavy. But yes, the quality of the photos, the performance of the devices and obviously the look and feel of the devices is simply amazing. So that way it remains to be seen which one you will go for. Do let me know your views and your opinion in the comment section below. If you have any specific queries again, do ask me. I'll be glad to answer them. That'll be it guys. Hope this video helps. Bye for now.